Danny, how likely are further restrictions in the United Kingdom? Anne Marie, in a word, they're likely. Uh, BBC did speak with the community's uh, secretary, uh, Robert Jenrick, who said that the government is discussing new steps to take and announcements are likely to happen in the coming days for further restrictions. And the data here really speaks for itself. Uh, 17,540 cases announced yesterday. That's a pickup of 3,000 cases uh, from Wednesday's number and 77 more deaths uh, occurred as well. Chris Whitty, the chief medical officer, here in the UK spent much of yesterday morning discussing with MPs trying to emphasize how serious the situation is. Among the things he said was that 30 percent of cases were connected to the hospitality industry. So if there are new restrictions and, and we're expecting them to be somewhat regional in nature, they're likely to be tied to the hospitality industry. So perhaps bars and restaurants. Of course, those sorts of plans have gotten a lot of slack, both from those in Boris Johnson's party and local leaders, Amory. And we're seeing this tick higher of cases, not just in the United Kingdom, but France as well, Spain, even Italy. How does this situation in the region compare to the UK? Well, France, much like the UK, did clock over 17,000 new cases. But in France, it's over 18,000 new cases. This is the second consecutive day and the sixth consecutive day that we've seen a rising weekly figure of cases. Uh, and, and, and the data is probably most alarming to French officials is the number of ICU patients. The number of ICU patients in Paris, Marseille and Toulouse have all tripled since the start of September. And because of that, we're likely to see more restrictions placed on major French cities. That includes uh, Lyon, Lille and Grenoble, Amory.